Okay, now with every bar that we send out is a set of instructions. And on that instruction sheet is this chart. It's, what it is is the amount of counterclockwise turns it's going to take to adjust the bar. Now every bar we send comes preset at a 10 to 1 length and diameter ratio. So for example, a 1 inch diameter bar will be set to cut 10 inches deep, 2 inch, 20 inches, so forth, so on. Now, we're going to, for today's video, say we're adjusting a 3 inch diameter bar. So using that, it shows here that this bar should be set at 6 turns counterclockwise out from a lock position. Now what we want to get to is a 6 to 1, so we're going to want to go to 4 turns out. So knowing that, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do, on the bar there's two lock screws. You see one here and one on this side. We want to loosen those lock screws. Now here's your adjustment screw. You'll see the plus and minus side, and I'll get into that a little bit later. So the first thing we're going to do is turn this bar the whole way in, turn this adjustment screw the whole way in until it locks down. Um, now if you remember on our chart earlier, it said that this was turned out six turns. We can check that right now to see if it came from the factory at the right setting. Now you'll see this last turn that I have to do, it gets really snug and tight. And what that is, is this mechanism inside this portion of the bar, is, it's clamping down on it, essentially. So as it's clamping, it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. But when you find that lock position, you'll know that that is not going any farther. So now, our four turns out is where we want to go from here. So it's a counterclockwise turn which would be towards the minus sign. So we're going to come out one, two, three, four. Now at this time, we want to take a dead blow hammer, some sort of soft mallet hammer, about an inch or two down from the head of the bar, give it a couple taps. And what that does is that sets this mechanism inside the bar. It centers it to make sure it's in the right location so everything works correctly. After we do that, we lock down our two lock screws, one on each side, and then we will go ahead and make a pass on our test piece and see what we get. Now when this bar is making a real high pitched squeal, we want a counterclockwise rotation on this adjustment screw. And what we're doing is loosening this mechanism up inside the bar. Um, we probably want to go a half to a quarter turn to start. So if we turn this a half turn out, you know, tap the bar, lock down the screws, and make another test pass and see what we get. Uh, make sure we're moving in the right direction. Uh, if it's a low pitch wheel, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to want to turn this adjustment screw clockwise which is going to tighten this up in here. So we would turn it clockwise, tap it with our hammer, don't forget to do that, lock down your two lock screws on each side, and go ahead and run it again. Now once you start to get the chatter out um, and the noise starts to cut down, you may want to move this adjustment screw, you know, maybe start with a quarter, go to an eighth of a turn, to fine tune it. 